How do we renew energy if we aspire to bring about change? Four things you can do. And these four things, where do you learn it from? You learn from your children. Children. Anyone who has a child, if you don't have a child, your brother has a child. If your brother doesn't have you come to the most, you meet children. Four things you can learn from children. If you pay attention to these four things in children, you should be inspired to renew your energy for change. Number one thing we learn from children to renew our energy is Tagiru Nashat. A child cannot focus on one activity. He's here, you push him, by the time you get there, he's there. Those of you who know, I mean, children, when they come to the most people cry, complain, isn't it? That's the nature of the child. You can't change the child. A child renews activities from time to time. It is not just for the sake of that. Allah expects us to pay attention and take inspiration from the children. Let's look at what Al al say about it. Changing activities. Imam al Qazim, salawatullahi wa salamuhu alayh. He said, Rawihu kulubakum sa'atun ba'da sa'a. Fa inna al kuluba tamillu kama tamillu al abdan. Imam al Qazim is telling us, recharge your soul hour after hour, hour after hour. Because souls become bored the way bodies become bored and tired. Always five times prayer, no addition, no dua, no proper ziyara, no proper amal. Only you waiting for the month of Muharram and Ramadan to do it. You are violating the right of the soul. Soul is not created for only one particular act of worship. We need to renew the energy. It's not only about the deen. Even at your work, without promotion, it becomes bored. And you begin complaining. Why am I not being promoted? It's simply because you have not studied higher than what they employ you. Rawwigu kulubakum sa'a wada sa'a. Imam said, hour after hour, recharge your souls with different activities altogether. And if I want to be different, why again from our beloved Sif Imam? Lil kulubi ikbalun wa idbar. Fa iza akbalat fahmiluha ala al faraidi wa nawafil. Wa iza adbarat fahmiluha ala al faraidi fakat. Allahu Akbar. Our beloved Sif Imam mentioned each person is of two mood good mood and bad mood. Sometimes you wake up, your wife says, John, salam. You say, eh, what's going on here? Bad mood. Sometimes all of a sudden you don't want to talk to anyone. You come in the home, you want to lock yourself watching television by pretending to watch television. So our Imam is saying we are of two moods. Good mood and bad mood. Then Imam said, whenever you are in a good mood, do wajib and nafil. But he said, when you are in a bad mood, do only wajib without nafil. Why? Because if you do nafil, when you are in a bad mood, you crush your soul. Very important. Our Ahlul Bayt taught us. So number one thing we learn from our children to renew our energy is what? Change of activities. You know children out there. We need to learn. Second thing we learn from our children, al fuduli Children are very inquisitive. You need to be inquisitive if you want change. Ask Maulana, ask Shay. I want to become spiritual. I want to be intellectual. I want to connect with the du'as of Ahlul Bayt. I want to get to this level. Sheikh, how do I do? Mullah, how do I do? It's crucial. Children, you know children. Today children ask us difficult questions we can't even answer. A 
child will look at you and ask you, why did Allah allow Yazid to kill Imam Hussein? How do you answer? <laughs> Children ask, they say, Yazid is a bad boy, but why did Allah allow Yazid to kill Imam Hussein? Because Imam Hussein is a good boy. These are the children. Lord. So they've got this inquisitive mind. Youth today, they ask some very difficult questions. Are we going to run away from the question? No, we need to find answers. But what I'm trying to say is that if you want to renew your energy, you need to ask. You need to learn. You need to study. You need to attend classes run at the mosque. You want to enjoy this school of thought? Wallahi, you cannot enjoy it without knowledge. You need to try as much as you can to increase the levels of your knowledge. And beautifully, Al al Bayt taught us, Man who man, la yashbi'ani, tu'alibu ilm, wa tu'alibu dunya, wa tu'alibu al-mal, wa riwa said. So there are two persons who will never be satisfied. Someone who seek knowledge and someone who seek dunya. Are you tired of making money? Why are you tired of learning about Imam Jafar? Mosque is boring, Amal is boring. Are you tired of making money? Tell me, please. <laughs> Even our old men, they retired, but they are not tired of collecting money. <laughs> so therefore, to renew your energy, learn from your child. When your child asks you a lot of questions, what do you do? Go to Maulana and upload Maulana with those questions. That's how you learn. The third thing we learn from our children to renew our energy, remember, first factor is renewal of energy. And we learn from the children. So the third thing we learn from children to renew our energy is what? Ruhul ibda, Spirit of creativity. You know, children are very creative. You go, you buy this artificial aeroplane or artificial bus or car. You come, you dismantle. You show them, even if you don't show them, you come, your children will be busy trying to fix it and to put each and every part where it's supposed to be. Ruhul ibda. And that is why Imam al Qasim mentioned, Man tasawa yawmahu fahuwa magbun. If your two days are equal, know that you are a loser. Last year, Muharram and this Muharram, how is the feeling? Same. Same. It means you have not done well about Abu Abdullah. Imam said your two days are equal in terms of your closeness to Allah, then you are a loser. Some scholars said, no, it's not only about Allah, even about your dunya. If there is no proper progress between last year and this year, then you are a loser. So Ruhul Ibda, you have to be creative in trying to renew your energy. You tell, okay, when I sleep this time, I'm unable to wake up. So let him be creative. What do I do to be able to wake up for Fajr? For instance, I, I try so many ways to learn about Quran, but things are not coming right. Is there any other way? Why are you creative in your dunya? You are not creative about Allah. So let's learn that from the children. And the fourth thing we learn from children to renew our energy is Ruhul Muqatara, spirit of getting into danger. Children are not scared of getting into danger because the akal is not working. You put television, they pull it down. You put water here, when they start crawling, they destroy everything. Amir al-Mu'mineen is saying, in khifta shay'an faka'afi, fa inna intidharaka la ashaddu min uku'ika fi. Amir al said, the moment you get scared of something, that is the time to start it. Because you waiting for it is more dangerous than doing it. So therefore, let's learn that from children. They're not scared of danger. They get into it. Waking up for namaz is sharp. Some said, no, I've not reached that level. Don't be scared of that. Start. Learning how to recite Quran. Some said, no, no, I'm not ready. I will get there. No, start. If you don't take step, you will never get anywhere. And wallah, the religion will still remain boring. The more you explore, the more you enjoy the religion. The lesser you explore, the more you feel it's boring.